Hey guys, Revit's back again. This time doing something I promised to do for a long time for a lot of you guys. The uh, walk around of my 76 SLR Tirana, alias the Green Bastard as I call it. In this video we shall feature the good and the very bad and the ugly. Alright, anyway. Uh, what I should do is pop the hood. Life in the hood is hard. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a 76. I bought it from a Kaya. They told me it wasn't an original SLR, but it is. I checked out the tags. They told me it was a 253. It's actually a 308. I looked underneath. It had a, a Ford 9 inch as well. Um, you know, and since. Well, I got that, got it back in '98, and from then to now, all I've done is spill money into it, um, with all sorts of fucking bling and shit like that. I can't help myself. Uh, the cam is only mild, Group A spec, whatever the fuck, um, Commodore Group A spec. I don't know much more than that about the cam. Um, I've got stainless extractors. We pulled the heads off at one stage. They have the big valve heads. I don't think they're L34. But it does have the bigger valves in the heads. We port matched the extractors to the intake manifold, which made quite a bit of difference. Um, Alley radio, that, that's just a, a cheapy eBay one, and I've had it for a few years with the Toyota coolant running through it, and it's holding up fucking quite well. It was only about 120 bucks delivered. I'm running the twin AU fans, which, as far as I know, they're, they're still the highest CFM um, powered fans. That you can get and they, they do they they all found a lot but they suck a lot of fucking current man um interior needs a lot of work but it's still pretty neat it's auto i went through two or three aussie four speeds it just kept blowing them up i think it's a lot to do with the ratio in the the nine inch it's geared really tall so it now runs a shift kitted turbo 350 um, and I'm, I'm sort of over auto now. I want, I want fucking manual again. But what do you do? The Aussie four speeds keep blowing up. And to put a Muncie in there, or the other one, Saginaw, it, it, it just costs fucking too much. Um, as I said, it, it, unfortunately it does have rust. It's got quite a bit around the back window. Here, I wasn't going to show all this, but fuck it. Behind the back bumper. The beaver panel is completely fucked. Excuse my language. Um, yeah, behind the, the bumper again. In the boot. The usual. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's only sort of surfacey there. But the quarters have been bodged at some point. And I, I'm guilty of some of it. I fiberglassed it up because I was getting fumes in the cabin. But all the towels and everything okay, you know, it could be worse. Uh, a bit of glare there, yeah, see around the back window as well. Um, running the Greg Weld drag lights, I really like them. They're, they're pretty common wheel for people to have, but um, they had the right offsets and everything for me. Uh, I have the Hopper Stoppers brakes on it. Uh, sorry, uh, you can just make them out there and they made a massive difference prior to that I had the just the solid Tirana discs and they were fucking frightening to drive And some of you Tirana guys would know absolutely frightening brake fade nearly straight away uh, Give you a long shot of it So yeah, now, look fr from a distance <laughs> right it looks it looks pretty schmick, but it's not there's, there's rust fucking all over the cunt now um, Bottom of the doors going the sills as well but, you know, the usual fucking Tirana shit, but behind these hinges is all fiberglass stuff, and that, that's a bit of a worry. Um, it's quite bad behind the hinges. Uh, I'm trying to think where else. Just the usual shit, you know. This door's not too bad, but I don't know if you guys can pick this up. I'm getting rust. You can't really see it in this, with this camera and this light. All rust bubbles and shit coming out under the paint. You know, I try and keep this thing undercover in the garage and whatever. But we live sort of near the, the ocean, I guess, so it, it's copping it. Um, here's pretty bad on the wheel arch. 
the quarters from here don't look too bad. As I said, someone's bodged them up with other panels at one point. And start her up. Oh, just the rough side of it, just to press as we... But what do you do? I, I haven't got 40 grand plus to fucking fork out. This light here... I've, whoops, I've rigged up a um, kill switch for the thermo fans because when they're hot and you go to turn it on, they, they just kick on. I've I got to set it up a bit better than this. It's a little bit tricky as well, you know, like the motor's getting tired, it still goes at right and everything, but... But it's just, it's just a bit clicky in that, you know, it's getting a bit noisy and tired these days. So, you know, that's, that's about it guys, um, we've still got a lot more to do. A lot more to do in the interior. Um, want to get the console back in, it looks fucked the way it is. Hopefully try and get a, a Muncie or something in here, but fuck, it, it's going to cost me well over three and a half grand. Um, the dash needs redone, it's got cracks and whatnot. All, all the usual shit, you know, I'll, I'll get there eventually, but it's just fucking time and money. And I put the original wheel back on. It's apparently worth quite a bit of money now, so... Yeah, I just, I ran with fucking clean it up, put it back on. So... Yeah, look, I think we'll wrap it up. I think that's about it, chaps. I'll finish off with a long shot of Green Bastardo.